Tesla's new hardware 3.0 self-driving hardware is finally here. It's in production and it's going to make things faster, but also slower. I'll tell you why coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button so you don't miss anything moving forward. Okay, so, um, you know, full self-driving features uh, have been slow to roll out, but just like I uh, said in my video earlier today, what's coming out right now is absolutely amazing. From the parking lot summon, if you haven't seen that, definitely check out one of the videos out there on YouTube where your car can just come out and meet you in front of the store or your house all by itself to the uh, fully now functional uh, navigator on autopilot where essentially is just driving you 100% uh, on the freeway with the only caveat is that you still have to keep your eyes on the road and hands on the wheel, which is deal breaker for me, but not a deal breaker for a lot of uh, people who have commented on that video. So to each its own. Um, now, what has been holding back, you know, technology like this is obviously the, the compute power because, you know, you have to take in consideration all these cameras, right? Um, it's HD um, and you have to compute it, right? You have to go and analyze every frame and, and do so many things and computers are only so fast. Now, um, Tesla's been using NVIDIA, um, which is a leading uh, um, sort of leader, the leader in that technology and in the industry, but then decided to switch to its own, uh, you know, kind of following uh, the footsteps of Apple. They're kind of trying to bring everything in house. There are good things about it and bad things about it, but this is not the time and place to talk about it. Nevertheless, they're doing it. Um, and this amazing computer, um, the upgraded computer, um, is now in production. And that's what uh, Elas is saying, which will allow just the technology to have so much room to sort of to breed, right? So right now, Elon uh, says that um, the... Um, the new computer will have about only will use only about five percent uh, of the entire load. Uh, what right now is being done by about eighty percent of the two point five hardware computer. And that's a huge improvement. That that gives them a lot, a lot of room right now. Being at eighty percent, there's only so much you can do, um, and and with the redundancy, it can only take ten percent. Um, so that is, I mean, that is a major improvement. Uh, Nvidia have always uh, uh, been trying to kind of, I don't want to say catch up. They're still considered to be the leaders, but even at CES 2018, so over a year ago. When I was listening to the keynote speech, um, you know, they were already dedicating almost most of it to the self-driving technology. They are developing the chip. They're already selling it um, and a lot of software that they're also putting in there. So this is definitely a thing. It's just Tesla decided to be sort of ahead of the bunch in terms of just going in production. Uh, now, what... Uh, uh, but what are you going to do if you already have an old one? How are you going to receive all these updates and upgrades? You know, your computer is going to crap out. Well, not to worry. And Elon said this a while back, and he repeated it today, that regardless if you already have a Tesla-based computer or NVIDIA-based computer, you're going to get uh, the new one. Just swap it out for free if you already paid for the full self-driving features, which kind of makes sense, right? It, 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 the only thing that I think that uh, he hasn't mentioned is um, if you don't have a full self-driving features, but you still want to have your computer upgraded because maybe you want to, you know, up update or upgrade your uh, your full uh, self-driving feature uh, uh, later, um, uh, what would be the price and if you're actually um, going to be um, able to do that? Now, before that, he said that you would have to go to the service center, but now apparently he's saying that you will be able to do it using a mobile service, which is really good news because that's definitely going to save you a lot of time. And it looks like computer uh, um, it will just fit right in. It's just a quick swap uh, from what I understand. Now, what is, how is this going to work um, and why do you need it? So let me explain in just one second. Just want to make sure that this, that you guys are aware that this video and this channel is sponsored by Biton. Don't forget to reserve your Biton and Biden starting at only $45,000 coming to US and Europe in 2020, that's next year. Look how fast and easy it is to uh, get your reservation uh, uh, in line before the line gets too long, mainly because there is no payment section. It's absolutely free to reserve yours. So do so at Byton.com or use the reservation link in the description of this video. Okay, so a mobile service can do it. And by the way, the mobile service of Tesla is really cool. So um, this is the video that I took when I had my mobile service uh, come out in, I believe it was uh, to change my door handle that wouldn't come out. I wish that wasn't a problem in the first place, but nevertheless, it was pretty cool. Um, I literally didn't have to come out uh, of my office. The only reason I did 
was to make this video for you guys and take this picture. Uh, but you know, I, I unlocked the car with my uh, phone app. They they did their thing and then they left and they lo I locked it. So um, that's an amazing service. Um, and and overall, as you know, the number one um, issue uh, that a lot of customers, a lot of current owners, um, uh, don't really like about Tesla is the service. Now, this is this is going to be something that uh, people are going to be receiving and hopefully being satisfied with it um, in uh, in as, as they're swapping out this uh, computer. And again, in order for you guys to continue getting these amazing updates from Tesla, it looks like there are a lot of them coming out. You need this new unit. Um, again, you're getting it for free if you have full self-driving features. If you don't have a full self-driving features and that's not clear yet, you may not need that computer after all, unless you upgrade later in the future. And then you might have to pay for it. Or might, so that's still unclear. But but what I'm saying is you don't have to have it uh, right now in order to um, in order to uh, you know have have your latest updates. Okay. So now there are quite a few positives and negatives here in the story. So let's break it down right now. The, of course, the positive is that this is going to give even more room for, uh, um, you know, obviously Tesla developers for the full self-driving features. And just like I said, the ones that are coming out, that they're the ones that are coming out this year are absolutely amazing. Um, the stopping on the red light, it looks like, uh, is one of the features that's next. And, you know, now we're taking the full self-driving on a freeway. They just came out with, and, and they're kind of now uh, uh, navigating that on a street, which is kind of the... The final one. This is the final self-driving sort of stretch. I know there's still a lot of regulations and and and, and corner cases to uh, to figure out. It's probably going to be a couple of years at the very least. But but things are finally happening. So having this computer, having this to made in house, obviously is a big deal. Um, and again, as, as always, it's pushing the entire industry forward. Nvidia needs to catch up or do better. Um, the other companies need to be able to do the same. So that's that's good. Now, the negative thing here is actually pretty substantial. And it is uh, that, you know, there are tens of thousands of these cars with the older version of the computer. And I might be even generous. Um, this is a huge task for already stretched out thin uh, um, uh, layered uh, um, customer service and service centers um, that Tesla has. There are people who have been reportedly waiting for their little things like spoilers and floor mats and a few other things that need to be installed in their cars. Reportedly, they, they've been waiting for weeks or even months. So, you know, and this is something that can be done with a mobile service. So obviously they're st uh, stretched out thin uh, in, in that category. Imagine what happens when, you know, 20, 30, 40,000 people call in uh, uh, asking for the service because, of course, everybody wants it right away. It's free. Why not? What are they going to do? This is the number one problem for Tesla, the customer service. And they just, by making their computer faster, they're essentially making their customer service and um, service in general slower and therefore even maybe more frustrating. Um, there hasn't been a solution that's been at least talked about by Elon or Tesla in general. So I see this as a major problem. Um, then people who, um, and I hope there are priorities. I hope if you need to swap this thing out, you're not in in front of somebody who really needs like brake service done or something like that. Uh, but that will also only frustrate you more, right? Because you want this to be swapped out. Everyone's doing it, it seems. And, and yet you're probably going to be given months and months uh, uh, worth of wait to get it done. So I think that's, um, that's definitely a problem. Let me know if you have one of those cars that you pay for a full, full self-driving uh, uh, feature and you want to swap it out, do, would you want to wait or would you actually uh, want it extremely like right away um, and be upset if it takes a while for you to get it? I'm interesting to know what, what do you guys think. Uh, by the way, don't forget to sign up for our VIP list. This is where we'll update you on some and have some exclusive content that you can't see on this channel or on our website. Um, there will be some offers and news and so forth. So go to e4electric.com slash VIP. There's also a link in the description of this video. And of course, I want to thank one of my uh, newer Patreons, Elias Antonia. Thank you so much for joining my Patreon community. The only place where you can watch me live. Um, and thank you to all of my Patreons for supporting uh, this independent channel. If you want to join, go to patreon.com slash E4 Electric. And that's also, um, that link is in the description of this video as well. All right, looking forward to your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.